Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel uh, In this video, I'm going to show you how to create hydrograph using HMS software I'm using version 4.11 Okay, let's start uh, First time we have to click, we have to create new project And click here New project, uh, we give the name, let's say Exercise one, hydrograph, and we can change the unit system to metric and click create. The next is uh, click components based in model manager, click new, and the name is based in one, close. So this is the windows for the basin. You can click view, map layers, and add our basin shape file. Click add and select the shape file of the basin. Skip. So now the basin already show is in the, in these windows. Click close. The next one is uh, we can click sub-basin creation tools and put on the upstream of the basin here location and also click sync creation tool and put on the outlet or the, loca the, lo uh, the location of the dam site the location is here and create so now we can click sub-basin and we can define uh, the parameter of this basin the downstream is sing one as the outlet here the area the area of my basin is 33 kilometer square this is optional and let's make it uh, default we can change this in the last method and select SES curve number yes Transform method, we can select SES unit hydrograph and yes. Base flow method, because there is no information about base flow, so we can select uh, none and yes. So, finish for the sub parameter and we can uh, move to the loss, uh, loss parameter initial abstraction. We can assume uh, 5 curve number we can assume active 5 impervious uh, percentage we can assume also uh, 5 transform like time in minute we can uh, assume or define or parameter 15 minutes okay so options let's make it default uh, then Finish for basin model parameter. We can move to the meteorologic model manager. Click new, and we can make uh, give a, uh, the name return period two years. Create. The next one is click components control specification manager new control one create close then click components again time series data manager click new you can say precipitation two years create and close so in meteorologic models we can define the parameter here this one uh, let's its default and in the basins we can select yes and specify the hydrograph we can select for precipitation two years We jump to the time series data and 
click precipitation two years uh, make it default 15 minutes in time this one one january 2000 we can changes as our uh, date for example now is 19 or 20, 20 september We just copy here. Master. the time from zero until eight. So now in the table, uh, the time start from zero until eight with interval time fifteen minutes. And we have to fill all this uh, column to fresh precipitation value based on our calculation in the excel file so now we can fill this uh, column from excel this is my calculations uh, for the period two years we have rainfall distributions here so we can copy start from here from 15 minutes copy and paste to the HMS then now we move to the control specifications control one and this time should be same with the our uh, setting in precipitations here so we just copy 20 September 2023 faster faster the time start from zero until eight and you can click save now click compute to run our simulation click compute create compute simulation run run two years And next, basin one, written period two years. Next, finish. So click this one and right click compute. Two uh, percent mean this is something error here. Here it's mentioned that contains egg missing or negative precipitation values. So we come back to the component in this part in the table we have a blank uh, column here so we have to fill with zero value until the last time and click save and come back to the compute and here right click compute so now 100% mean success click the results run two years in global summary this is the peak discharge of this uh, basin for two years also we have another information from this sub basin one and click grab this is hydrograph from this uh, simulation click time series table to uh, copy this data and move to the excel file we can copy time and paste into the excel then copy the hydrograph for flow here and paste in in the column two years so now we can create a graph from this uh, two columns
insert So this is written period for two years. This is this chart Q. Cubic per second, and this is time in hours. So we have finished to create hydrograph for, for written period two years. If you want to uh, create another hydrograph for five years, ten years, twenty-five years, and so on, just repeat this uh, procedure. Let's start to create for five years, for example. Back to the component, and for Bayesian models, it's still same. Just click for meteorologic models and time series data. So we can click component, meteorologic model manager, new, return period for five years, create, close, component, time series data manager, new, precipitation five years, create, close so now we can expand for five years here click basin and click yes specified hydrograph also we can select because this is five years so we can select five years precipitation five years and come back to time series data in precipitation five years we can uh, changes also the time should be sim same with the previous just, just copy here faster yes. time is from 0 to 8 now in the table we should be same like the previous just copy from here copy then paste also don't forget to fill the zero value here to avoid the error so click save and uh, compute Click compute, create compute, simulation run for five years. And the next, next, select the written period five years, next, finish. So right click and compute, success, close. And click the result, result for five years. And this is hydrograph for five years. If you want to copy the table just click time series table no need for the time because we have already because we have uh, before in the excel file so just copy the this chart here uh, copy and paste to the excel file copy in five years hydrograph so now we can uh, insert it into the graph select data add return period 5 years x value is for the time and y value is for the discharge
So this is our hydrograph. from return period 2 years and 5 years using HMS software ok I hope this video will benefit for you uh, thank you for watching my video and uh, see you in the next video ok Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh